Today, we will discuss about an add-on called Simple Object Cutter, which we have shared with all our members for this month. You can use this add-on to easily cut any number of regular pieces from an object. We will first test it on this default cube, so we have to select this cube, and then open the add-on from here. We can specify the number of segments here, for each of the dimensions. For example, let's say we need 5 segments in the X dimension, so we'll increase this to 5, then maybe 3 segments in the Y, and then 3 for the Z dimension. Now if we hit OK, the add-on will create the required number of cuts for this cube, resulting into many different pieces, each of them is a separate object of its own, and they are contained into a distinct collection called Object Collection. But instead of using a number of segments for each dimension, we can also enter the desired width of a segment, we can just specify the segment width here, we'll discuss this in the next example. And if we enable this option called console report, we can open the console window to monitor the progress in real time. It will display the details, along with the timing for each step, but we need to open it before we run the add-on, since the add-on can make this window non-responsive. In the second example, we won't enter the number of segments, we will simply enter the width for each segment or each block. We can even rotate it in any arbitrary direction, let's say we rotate it around the x-axis, and also the z-axis. So our target object need not be parallel to any axis, it can have any specific orientation, we will still get the correct result, since we have included an option in our add-on, to handle this case. First we'll enter a value for the width, let's use 0.75. It will ignore any values in the number of segments, it will auto-calculate the number of segments, based on this width, and all the segments will be cubic in shape. And we'll keep this option called, Use Local Axis Enabled, so as a result, we'll discover that the cuts are made along the length and width of the target object, which looks perfect. The add-on has ignored its angle of rotation, but this won't be the case always. Like we have a banana here, and we want to cut this model, but we can see that it has got some rotation around the y-axis. For this case, we can't use the object axis for the cuts, we'll disable this local axis option, so that the cuts are made along the global xyz. Let's go for 4 segments here, then 3 for the y, and again 3 segments for the z dimension. Since we are in the rendered view mode, the cuts may not be visible, but in the solid view, we can see how beautifully the banana is divided. It looks perfect, but let's undo this operation because we will now look into another interesting case. We will again bring our add-on like before, and this time, let's go for 6 segments in the X dimension, and 4 segments in the Y. If we now run this, we'll discover that the result is completely wrong, you may get extra artifacts, or maybe some parts will be missing. This usually happens when you have some complex geometry, like overlapping or internal sections, or holes. But we have an option to overcome this issue as well, it is called accuracy level, if we increase this we'll get a better result. Let's first set the segment numbers like before, 6 and 4, and we need to change this, we'll go for the level 2 accuracy. After we run it again, we will see that the result is perfect, no more issues like before. But it takes far more time to execute if the accuracy is set to high, so increase the levels only if necessary. Now let's say we have an orange like this, we'll verify one more function of this add-on. Remember if you use these segment numbers, you need to keep the segment width as zero. Now let's disable this option called add new material, and we'll see what it does. In the solid view mode, we can see that the add-on has done its job perfectly. Now let's select any part of these orange pieces, and move it out from the heap. We'll see that the inner portion has the same material as that of the original orange, but this may not be always desired. So let's undo this, and discuss how to do it differently. We will again go back to our add-on. We have an option called add new material. It will create a new material during the division, and assign that material for the new inner sides, so the cutout parts will have a distinct inner surface. If we remove this, we'll see that a new material is assigned to the inside surface. And the good thing is, the same material is used everywhere, so you can even change its properties. In the Materials tab, just select the slice material, then you can change its material properties as you wish. So we are sharing this add-on for free with our existing members, and those who take up our membership before this month end, or you can also purchase it from the links given below. I hope you find it useful, so thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.